everyone, the Raider Dashing one more way. Hope everyone had a great Friday. Hopefully uh, all the dashes did real well. Hopefully it was stress free and hopefully it weren't too chilly in your area. Well, there was a bit of a problem with uh, DoorDash last night. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure if it was in every area or if I was just the unlucky vipping person to get it hot out. I was the only one. Um, I was scheduled to start at 5.30. I actually left the house about 4.30, thereabouts. And um, saw that saw that the uh, map went red. Went, oof, I'll do a dash along the way. So I clicked on it. Took the pictures of the clocks and everything. I uh, clicked on the uh, DoorDash Vipin map, and of of our deliveries delivery zone, excuse me, and um, hit dash along the way. Wouldn't have it. Mm. Kept hitting the button. Just kept. It was so that it was pressing, but it just. It's just like hitting a bubble, poof, and it would go. <laughs> it was it was odd. <coughs> it was like okay, another flipping DoorDash glitch. Okay, well, stuff it. I'll just go down and get some petrol. So I went down a road, filled up the petrol tank, and um, hit the flipping dash along the way again. Still played about. I turned the phone off. I turned the phone off when we was here. I turned the phone off when I was there. Done a reboot. Nope, not that. Oh, what in the hell? What's going on? Anyhow, I said, all right, well, we'll just get there. So we got on over there. We went to a uh, quick trip. Got a couple of coffees along the way. And um, said... And it still wouldn't fit in, uh, even when we got to the delivery zone in the Lee Summit. It was up to dash now. Wouldn't let us dash. Oh, what in the bloody hell is going on? Again, I restarted it. Nope. So it came to the time, you know, I was supposed to start at 5, I was scheduled to start at 5.30. And I went, you know what, stuff it, I'll just take the, the, the schedule off. So I looked on the, clicked on the schedule, right, that's how long it's supposed to be. And I just deleted it. Then I went to the dash now. It worked fine. It worked just fine. Um, and later on through the night, got kicked off. And um, at the summer stage and... Uh, and then I was scheduled to start, I think, maybe about 9 or 9.30. And it wouldn't let me back on again. So I clicked out, I deleted the uh, schedule. And it let me straight back on. It's a bit of a glitch with uh, with the DoorDash system, I think, last night. Um, I can't remember when my first offer came in. Oh, Jack Stack. Yeah, Jack Stack Barbecue came in, and there was a lot of flipping oh, crap offers. And uh, this one came in for Raytown, and they weren't all that far from us, to be fair, but anyway. And um, it was paying 16... I forgot to take a picture of the bloody screen. I did that every flipping job that I did, which wasn't many. And um, sixteen fifty, and I think it said it was like nine miles or something, eight point something or other, roughly nine miles. So anyway, figured out where it was. Oh, okay. Just went up to the house, uh, got up there. <coughs> Wasn't a uh, well looked after house. I mean, and those fucking leaves everywhere. And leaves are everywhere here, I think. Ooh, anyway, um, 
but it's uh anyway so i wasn't sure actually where to go i mean there was no light in so much in the uh driveway or in the front of the house i mean there was a porch light on and that which was good but the trouble was i didn't know which bloody way to go he had a car he had like cars in the driveway and it didn't look very safe to walk up the driveway i hadn't angled the van right to uh get the lights on there i've got a little bit of light on there so a little bit and um anyhow so i get up there and i went i don't know bollocks i'll just walk this way so anyway i walked through there i think i was in part of his garden but not that he could see it because it was covered in leaves just like every one else's house probably and uh and yeah it popped it on his doorstep and i stood back and took the picture in it and uh as i was walking walking away this old fella came out and he shouted something towards me at me and i went I went, mate, what? <laughs> and he uh, <laughs> took him a couple of times, and me and him a couple of times to figure out what each other was bloody on about. And he asked if I was a ham operator. <laughs> um, not here, mate. I've done it in England. <laughs> but no, I'm not here. And then I guess he, he thought there was an area or something on the side of the van or on the van, so... I don't know what he would have thought was on on the van, but anyway. But I guess he's a local ham operator. It's good fun, that. If you've done that before or played on the ham radios, you get all over the world on that bloody thing. Can't understand a lot of people on them because, well, it's all over the bloody world. But it's uh, it's good. Um, That was in the days before bloody mobile phones and all that. Um, that we had fun with all that stuff but no um, got back to the area can't remember where I went I'm going to put everything up here but it um, was not a very good Friday night actually quite flipping disappointed I mean what the hell's happened on a Friday <laughs> Damn, it was, um, people were out and about. I don't think many people saw, that many people saw my posting about the uh, uh, accounts for hire. If you've not already seen that, I'll try to put a link below, but it was the, the uh, video before this one, which is actually quite worrying, and it's getting even more worrying the more I think about it. Accounts for hire. Or accounts for sale. Saw that. As well, you can buy someone's uh, Uber account for $650. It's very worrying. Very, very worrying. And the reason I worry about that is it... As a door dasher, um, you know, for the most part, people are okay because they're behind doors. You just put the food on the doorstep, take a picture, off you go. But we have people that send their kids out to us. I'm not saying that everyone who gets a uh, buys an account or rents an account off of someone is going to be... Um, uh, a pain and do anything bad but we know darn well that some of these people will we know it there's idiots all over the world hidden amongst flipping everywhere and it's it's worrying now with Uber, where you got the uh, the ride share with Uber and U Lyft and whoever else, I don't know, but um, I think they're supposed to have their um, ID or whatever, photograph or whatever, mounted in the vehicle somewhere. 
as I believe, but I can't be positive on that, but it, for, you know, passengers to see, but you'll already be in the vehicle at that point. You're already in the vehicle. And, uh, if you get into one of those, one of those vehicles, and you don't look at that thing closely enough, that picture closely enough, I mean, they could have bloody false details on there, we you ever know. I mean, if it's like on the, on the dash somewhere, I don't know where, where they would put that, if they even do that, don't, I really honestly don't know. Um, as a cab driver, etc., from back home, we never had that. It was different. It was way different. We didn't have the phones back then, like when I first started, like way back when. And um, it was um, a totally different time, but it was always shipping someone that would do something whether it be on the vipping driver's side or the passenger side but for me it, it, it's uh and i don't know what it's like for other drivers etc but for me i'm i'm pretty i'm worried about it i'm worried about it because you got so I got so many flipping thoughts in me of what can happen, what we see happen on the telly every day. But also, what's it going to do to the future of flipping gig app deliveries? I mean, cab driving. There's always going to be people that want a cab or a chauffeur or whatever. Um, food delivery, yeah, there's going to be people who want the food delivery, but, but will they want to take that risk? Somewhere along the line, okay, I mean, maybe I'm too slow and I've been like a bit backward on this and didn't know vipping all this stuff was going on. Um, I don't know... If it's been promoted, if it's been spoken about through through the uh, other um, YouTube channels or what, it's. Uh, but for me, I mean, it, for finding that out a couple of days ago, it's just craziness. I mean, I'm surprised that we don't get stopped by the local the local cops. I mean, I don't. It doesn't bother me to, because, well, I've got nothing to worry about. But, somewhere along the line, it's got to, this stuff has got to stop. And, surely there must be something totally illegal about it. And for, I went on online last night, or yesterday, and I went on Facebook Marketplace... Or oh, Facebook, sorry, somewhere. And I think I actually did it through Google to try and find it, to be fair. And I only, I only looked... I found one... I'm not going to put it up here, but I found one... That's all they did. Is accounts for rent, accounts for sale, whichever. And there's a whole string of them. And there's businesses made out... Just businesses doing it. Telling you the flipping tariff of what they flipping will do. This is how much it is a month. Oh, hang on, you can pay this this outright and earn whatever you like. And you'll get a warranty on it, etc. Yeah, these are uh, made up. These, uh, these accounts are from legitimate flipping drivers. What? I mean, this whole flipping business and they're touting it on Fippy and Facebook. It's probably elsewhere too. Maybe there's a reason, maybe, you know, there is something legitimate that someone got kicked off of 
that say DoorDash, for example, and they can't get back on there for, I don't know, bloody DoorDash just won't answer their email or whatever. Um, it could... I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Um, maybe their acceptance rate, not acceptance rate, completion rate went right the way down. Um, it's... Um, Maybe they have one too many flipping things against them, you know, uh, violations. Personally, I always ring up and give uh, DoorDash a bit of hassle about it. <laughs> and I get the things who've been knocked off. I've always got proof on that. I take pictures. But, um, but no, it was... Uh, it's an absolute bloody piss take, to be fair, because... Legitimate drivers go out there, have a background check, have, uh, you know, we're all insured, we all pay the maintenance on the vehicles, and we try to vip and keep it that we, you know, that we don't take these low ball offers, because we've got the maintenance on the vehicle to, to, um, well, maintain, to pay for, and pay for the insurance, and pay for the petrol, and what, maybe a car payment if you've got one, um, so, and then of course you've got to pay taxes on all of that and uh, so some, another driver comes in that's using someone else's account they're then not paying taxes on that stuff they're earning quite well they don't care it's not in their name they don't give a crap they'll flip and earn and earn on it the poor driver who's flipping his name in it whether I don't know whether the, the stuff has actually been stolen off of them, uh, uh, identity theft or whatever, or have they been re legitimately stupid and actually sold their account or rented their account out? I don't know. I don't know how it all flipping works. What I do know is that there's a whole lot of people out there that are now doing DoorDash, etc., and Uber, and possibly Walmart Spark, and uh, I don't know who else, uh, Grubhub, possibly. Um, that shouldn't be. That shouldn't be. It's, uh, it's worrying. It's worrying because we've got, we've got itch. all these people are just able to uh, buy an account and just get straight into it all. And they've got the freedom to go up and down to people's homes. Anyway, um, so anyway, for Friday night, no, it wasn't, um, wasn't that brilliant. My second offer, uh, offer that came in, by the way, was, uh, when we come back from the Jack Stack one, over at Raytown, was actually a crumble cookies. God, I hate that place. <laughs> what a waste of place, what a waste of space of a place. I mean, if you're going to be a baker at bakery, at least if you do everything else, you can just make them biscuits. Anyhow, um, and any time we get an, a, get an offer from there, it's it's absolute, it's not brilliant. So, uh, anyway, this one came in and it, it was actually, a, I think it was like eight and a half miles and it was paying like, 13 and a half, 13 and a quarter. And uh, it was a hand to them and it went down to Lake Winnebago area. And I texted the geezer along the way, or before I left, saying, okay, got your food, got your stuff, your order, and uh, I'll be there soon. I'd looked up where it was going. I got there, if you've been, I must have been the only car on that bloody street. Surely you could have seen my flipping lights. It, 
hitting your front windows and that and hearing my car door shut right? they were at the stand on their doorstep waiting for this bloody bloke to come to the door anyway must have known I was on the way I bloody well texted you I see right there and texting you, letting you know I'm coming. Keep a bloody lookout. Anyway, uh, so I did that one, and I can't really remember where else, but anyway, I would have had all these on before. Um, Sunday. Don't forget, Sunday, if you're uh, wanting to tune in, we are going to be doing the uh, food delivery challenge on Sunday with, uh, or against rather, um, uh, Angela of Bomber City Dashing, who's down in Amarillo, Texas. And of course, we'll be up in Lee Summit, Missouri. And we'll be, well, each of us are going to be doing DoorDash, Grubhub, and Uber Eats. Um, I might have to try and lay off of uh, Grubhub a little bit because we'll. I still haven't changed my bank account properly on there. Um, they didn't answer my bloody uh, reply to my uh, email. Which is a bit of a pain. Um, I'm sure they'll get to it, but... It's... Uh, I wish they would just get it done i mean i don't know don't know why i had to go for all of that i might have to just give them a bloody call again but um uh, yeah so that's we'll be doing the competition and it'll be from 8 a.m to 8 p.m so it'll be just after the breakfast rush no doubt well, there may still be some going on we'll get a bit of lunchtime hopefully here it's supposed to be in the 60s, or the highs will be in the 60s. Um, I think we're starting off in the low, in the mid 30s, though. So it might be a bit on the chilly side. Um, at least for us, I don't know what it would be like down here. I don't know if we've got a game going on, I don't think so. And uh, yeah, we'll have. Um, I'll try to do some streaming. I honestly don't know whether I will. Um, I don't know where my phone went. This is one more moves my stuff around. Anyway, um, I'll try to do some filming. I, I've done some filming a few times this week, this past week. And um, I've used those as like clips for going in into restaurants. Unfortunately, even though I've done bloody talking and I can't hear the set of music, there's a copyright on things. And I went into um, the uh, Japanese steakhouse. That's the only one where I've got... I didn't hear, hear any music. Well, nothing I recognised. And um, I've got a copyright thing for using that, but I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. I didn't. That's the only thing I can think of, but I barely bloody hear it. And I spoke over it as well, but and I weren't in there all that long, which is surprising. Very surprising. Um, and then there was somewhere else I went into, uh, possibly Firebirds, not sure. And got a copyright on that. I know they sometimes have music in the background. Um, they have all televisions as well in there but they don't have the sound on their two tellies so anyway uh but no um for most part our friday was just that <laughs> not good not good so i'm hoping saturday's gonna be a whole lot better and I damn sure hope Sunday will be too, because um, um, we was missing the uh, most of the breakfast orders. I think it comes in a little bit earlier than that. And um, but we should get some dinner ones, early dinner ones. So that's what I'm hoping for, and that'll make it up for us. 
Unfortunately, I'm not scheduled early enough on DoorDash, so, um, in fact, my earliest schedule on DoorDash is midday, <laughs> bloody hell, so I'm, ho I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get in there and get on that, otherwise the rest of it's going to go on, I don't think I'm going to be all that bothered, because come lunchtime, we should be picking up on some uh, orders and then, of course, we'll get some early afternoon ones as well. Because um, we'll have Firebirds and Jack Stack and all that. And uh, hopefully it's, it's going to be pretty good. But either way, money goes to charity. Um, whether it's down to Texas or up here to Missouri. Even though I still haven't heard from the Lee Summit Police Department about about this, uh, um, whether the dog needs a new vest. If not, be finding another charity. Anyway, I think that'll do it. I rambled on enough. We was talking about this on uh, Dashing Grandpa uh, Thursday. Uh, yeah, just now Saturday. Adios. 20 past 2 on a Saturday um, in the morning maybe I should change it to rambling womble <laughs> ah, we do ramble on anyway thanks for watching hope you all have a great weekend hopefully it's stress free don't forget have a laugh with it all you know uh, there's so much we can find to moan moan about believe me I do Boy, do I. But, you know, it's part of being English. We get to moan a lot. And we seem to enjoy it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers. Ta-da.